Hey guys, how you doing? I'm about to take a service call at a local mall. Just gathering up some tools as it is. Okay, got my regular tool bag, got two of my gauges for 410A R22. I uh, got a, a voltmeter so I could check uh, ohms and whatnot. Um, and also a regular voltmeter for power, uh, simpler to use. I can check amps on that. Um, okay, so basically my service call is they've had an AC issue ever since they lost power, which here in Pittsburgh, we had uh, a couple real bad storms just recently. It was causing power to flicker. When you have flickering power with today's equipment, one, you can trip breakers, okay? Because the unit's boom, 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 trying to kick on and off, or it's not getting the po proper power. If it's three phase, you could be missing a phase, causing single phase issue, which that will also trip a breaker because the motor cannot start. It overamps and boom, trips a breaker. Now, um, first thing I want to meet up with my customer, then I want to go to uh, check out thermostats uh, just to see if there's power even there. If there's no power in my thermostat, either we lost power at the unit, we could have uh, blown a control uh, fuse or tripped the uh, control reset on the um, secondary side of the transformer, uh, knocking out 24 volts. So uh, there's a few things uh, we can look at, but uh, I don't know if we're looking at rooftop units or split systems. So. Um, got my sunglasses in case it's a white top roof, which this is a newer facility. It's a mall. Um, also, uh, got my hat, got my little sun hat. So, all right, guys, let's go check it out. Let's see what we can find. Hopefully I can explain what happened here. So let's go, let's investigate. Okay, guys. Okay. Rooftop unit, spare rooftop unit. Why is this taped? Taped probably because it's shorted to ground, or there could be something else going on. Spares, okay. Okay, guys, now you see why I got sunglasses on. Being on a white top roof, especially when it's sunny, you might as well be standing in the snow with sun glaring off of it. Okay, um, to find our rooftop unit, we have many rooftop units here. Okay, many, 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 many. Which one is it? Well, you position where you're at in the building for that location, and generally you're you're there, you're close. Okay, so this one's not running. I saw only two thermostats downstairs. This one is running. Space was 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Not too bad, not too bad. Definitely running AC. It's a carrier, weather maker, good unit. Okay, no water coming out of the um, condensate drain, but it is dry out. I feel heat coming out of our condenser, that's a good thing. This one's not in cooling as far as I can tell. I, I don't even feel the blower running. Okay, so this one may be the one that has that breaker turned off. Now, the reason why that breaker was probably turned off, when they went to start up stuff, there might've been something shorted to ground. Uh, that's why they shut it off and taped it off. I wish they would've left a note who did it and why, such as locking out, tagging out, but they did not. So. We know the breaker's off. I'm gonna shut off the disconnect up here. I wanna open some electrical panels. I wanna ohm out motors. I wanna make sure nothing is touching ground. If something is grounded, gonna write it up. If we can disconnect it, um, it might be compressor, could be blower motor, could be a rub through. Write it up and we'll follow up on it. So let's check her out.
Okay guys, the next thing I did after making sure power was off, I opened up my electrical compartment, just take a quick once over, just look around to see if anything is grounded. Next thing, I always like to pull off all the access panels. I like to check out belts. I like to just give a quick visual. Okay, our air filters, they don't look bad. Not too bad, it's good. All right, uh, we got our compressor, the heart of the system, the main motor. Um, I will be pulling this electrical cover here. Now, when you see stuff like this, okay, that is stuff that shorts to ground. Okay, now these are most likely off of 24 volts. So if for some reason your fuse on your transformer is tripped, let's see if we have one here. I didn't even look. No, we do not. Okay, it would be on the secondary side. Sometimes there's a reset. Um, it would blow that and it would kill your 24 volts going down to your thermostat and you'd lose power down there. Um, if your main breaker's tripped, that would be your high voltage side. Okay, so let's glance around, make sure there's no rub throughs. Cause I don't smell anything burnt up here. Looking good, they put some foam. Oh, I can see it right here. Wow, this is an easy fix everybody. Okay, see that little dark mark? And you see the sh nice sharp edge? That's why I wear gloves, okay? Sharp edge. Ooh, Ooh. okay, there you go. See that shininess right there? Short to ground, okay? Now, um, I'm gonna inspect that wire a little bit more, but most likely I can cut out that section. I can uh, put a little uh, connector in between or wire nut it. Um, if the wire is really not damaged, um, I can, no, it's a little bit, it arced. So when it arcs, there's a little bit of um, spatter. And basically you just took whatever, that's a 14 gauge wire. It blew away a couple of the um, uh, threads uh, from the wire. Okay, because that's not a solid strand, that's a stranded wire. Blew away a couple. So maybe you're to 16 uh, gauge wire right now, maybe even less than that, who knows. But that would cause a higher amp draw too. But at this time, I'm gonna go ahead and expose this wire. I can cut some zip ties, pull a little bit more, cut and fix that. Then I will make out and ohm out um, everything just to verify, but most likely that's it. So, and that's what caused it. Um, just coincidentally, there was a power outage recently. So, uh, you know, vibration. So lack of maintenance, <laughs> I hate to say, but with your maintenance, um, make, uh, is a big thing. So check set screws, check your belts, check tightening, t uh, tensioning, make sure there's no cracks. Um, good belt. Um, check your air filters, just the basic stuff. Find out why things are just how they are. Um, I could put a little bit of tape around there, which I will, because I do not want callbacks. And, uh, but we're looking pretty good other than that wire. So uh, let me go ahead and do that and we will reset this breaker and fire this bad boy up, everybody. Good job, always investigating. Here you go, everybody. There's that damaged piece of wire. Let's see if you can see that there. Okay, okay. You cannot have a direct short to ground. You do that, well, it trips your breaker. That breaker, I, just from previous experience, it's off right now, okay. It tripped before. Somebody came in and went click, boom, and popped it, okay? Guarantee you that's what happened. They left it off, said, call your AC people. Always thinking. Okay, guys, it doesn't take much to go ahead and just check set screws, takes two seconds. You don't want a pulley flying off. I did see that's gapped away pretty far. Um, they only got so much room behind here to slide that one in and this one in. You want to keep alignment good and, good and aligned. Now, um, okay, so our wires, I did zip tie, 
put electrical tape. I clipped the wire, put fresh wire there. Made sure we are no longer rubbing, okay? No longer rubbing, no rubbing. Good, good, good. Now, I went to go ohm out stuff just to verify we're good before I turn on a breaker, okay? Now, we do have a grounded compressor, okay? You always, always want to pull your electrical connections off of the compressor. Why do you want to do that? Well, you could have a rub through from somewhere else. If you have a rub through somewhere else, it can give you a false reading. So take those leads off there if you can at, at all cost and then double check. Then you can ohm out that wire because you could have a rub through with the wire, okay? Now, and I did tape back in there and whatnot, tape over top. Fingers only fit so far around, but it's taped. Now, with those off there, you set your voltmeter to ohms, okay? Okay, set it to ohms. Now, what I'm gonna be simply doing is I'm using the compressor copper, the suction line or discharge, doesn't matter. The copper, it's, it's all ground, okay? You check into there and then you check one of your connectors, okay? Right inside your electrical cover. So I'm gonna stick this down here and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put one right on there and I'm gonna hold this camera here like so because I don't have a camera guy. Anybody want a job? Okay. And all right. So right now I am touching copper and one of those terminals, okay? Okay, I'm gonna go to another one. Let's go to, if you guys can see that. Okay. Show them grounded again. And the last one, grounded, okay? Let's check, because that's grounded too. Okay, now we check between the legs, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check between I'm going to touch on one and I'm going to touch on the other. Let's see what we're reading here. 2.2. 2.2. And then 2.2. Okay, just to show you guys here. I'm going to touch in between there and we should be... Tough to hold this camera like this. I'm sorry, everybody. Wish I had a GoPro. Hint, hint. So... 2.1. All right. Now, you're going to go, well, why don't you try to start it up and see if that's what the case is? Well, we can do that. It'll trip the breaker. Now, we'll go to this other one that I know is running, okay? I know is running, okay? I'm going to check the exact same things. I'm going to try to set my phone here so you guys can see. Let me try to stick it right here. Okay. Now you can see... Here's your ohms, wires disconnected. We're doing the same thing, same thing. All right, touch ground, okay? There's a copper, bare ground. You'll see that little spike for a second, but see how it's gone? Gone, gone, okay? That's good. Check between the legs. 2.6. Point six, two point six. So there you go. That one's definitely normal. Okay. So we do have one grounded at this time. Um, <sighs> um, I'm not sure when this all happened, but is what it is, guys. So you gather your uh, your compressor information. You can do an acid test. Uh, you definitely want to change filter dryer. Some people reuse their refrigerant. This is R22. Um, 11 pounds in that system. Um, I'm going to do an acid test. If it's okay, then I'll reuse the refrigerant. If it's not, then uh, change it. Now, um, uh, I'm going to just check out a couple more things. I'm going to flip this breaker on and run this unit, at least run the fan. So, But i got to get this other unit back on. But one other thing, when I was here, reached in and... I don't know if you guys can hear that. The bearings are, are loose on this motor. Bear bearings are loose on this particular motor so i'm gonna write that up as well so okay guys always looking okay guys 
you can hear that condenser fan motor is bad. The bearings are get bad. Like I said, when I first walked up here, I heard that noise. I gotta finish putting a couple panels on. I just wanna grab some information. Um, this one I will be turning on here in a minute. I just was waiting for this one to kick back on before I walk down from the roof. I'm just wrapping up some tools at this time. Uh, verify this unit is no longer grounded. It is not, okay? Because I checked the three phase coming in, I disconnect the wires and I checked and pushing contactors and we are good. So I'm gonna go turn the breaker back on just to get the blower motor up and running. So that'll help circulate the air throughout the place. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go turn that breaker on. Here we go. Okay guys, wear safety protection, put in earplugs. If you can, use something from a distance to turn the breaker on. You could wear your arc flash gear, but we have the unit off at the roof. So we can go ahead and turn this on. We should be fine. Just gotta turn this breaker on. Here we go. We can go turn it on from the rooftop unit. Okay, guys, breaker is back on. I'm gonna turn the disconnect on. Ooh, a couple spare screws I gotta throw in on that panel too. Good thing I didn't put my tools away. Our fan motor has just kicked on. That's good. Okay, so we know we got three phase power up here now. Fan is running. Actually, okay. I thought the economizer was open for a second. Okay, so uh, to recap, we had a breaker that was off. They had an electrical failure. Most likely breakers were all turned back on at when, uh, when they come back from whatever, uh, from that power failure. So they turned things on, probably tripped the breaker, said, uh-oh, there's a problem. Boom, shut off power. Call your technician. First time out here, come out. I found wires definitely grounded. Also found a compressor that's reading to ground all three legs. I'm gonna write up a quote for new compressor, contactor, filter dryer. Um, I did check the refrigerant with low acid tester. We're looking good, so I'm gonna reuse that. So we'll be okay. Um, the other unit I have to, uh, I'm gonna send in a quote for a, a new condenser fan motor. Not making too much noise right now, but. I like to mark things in case somebody else comes out. So, okay, guys, I got to straighten some stuff. Have a good day. Stay safe. Thank you for watching. Got any comments, criticisms, techniques, anything, please share. Have a good day.